Janet. Thank you. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to where to you wherever you might be in our world. Welcome to the 2021 CGS National Conference, our second large Zoom gathering and the first one that we're live streaming on YouTube. It's wonderful to welcome all of you, those of you here on Zoom and those of you following on the live stream. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Donna Park. I'm going to share my screen. Hmm, that worked before. Isn't it funny how technology works when you test it and not when everybody's watching you? I'm Donna Park, Chair of the Board of Citizens for Global Solutions Education Fund. Some of you know us well, but for those joining us for the first time, let me share our vision and mission with you. Our vision is a peaceful, free, just, and sustainable world community. Our mission is to educate and advocate for a democratic federation of nations with enforceable world law, to abolish war and global violence in the resolution of disputes, protect universal human rights and freedoms, and restore and sustain our global environment. We find ourselves at a critical time in the life of our nation and our world. We are meeting against the backdrop of COP26, where most of the nations of the world are trying to address the climate crisis facing us. They are joined by an array of activists, multinational corporations, and other special interest groups. Here we can witness in real time many of the deficiencies in the way the world is governed. Um, Janet or um, Juan Carlos, can you let the people in from the waiting room? Oh, the chair. Spouses are free. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody could mute Lee. Thank you. Here we can witness, back to COP26, sorry, I just didn't want people in the waiting room. Here we can witness in real time many of the deficiencies in the way the world is governed, since we are at the mercy of this mix of forces. Donna, you're muted. Somehow you got muted. Just about 30 seconds ago. Am I unmuted now? Can you hear me? Thank you. Um, thumbs up if you can hear me. Thumbs up. Thank You're you. Back. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists has set the doomsday clock, the clock that counts down to the threat of nuclear and environmental annihilation to 100 seconds to midnight. That is the most dangerous setting in its history. In our nation here in the US, we are deeply divided. We can't seem to have intelligent conversations about the risks and benefits of a vaccine, about wearing masks or teaching about critical race theory, about immigration or voters' rights, about drawing fair and reasonable districts for voting, and many other important issues. And as if that isn't enough stress on us, we have a raging global pandemic that is killing hundreds of thousands of our neighbors, family, and friends. We have close to three quarters of a million dead in America, or the US, and over five million dead around the world. Let's hope we can turn this around, or next year the numbers will be even more horrendous. The need for effective government has never been more obvious. We all need to take a deep breath embrace our common humanity, and reach out to others at home and abroad, across all peoples, all nations, all continents, and all generations. Cooperation and collaboration are how we can bend the arc of justice towards the common good, especially for those on the margins who suffer the most from injustice in today's world. And so we have come together for the next three days to continue to to work to deliver our vision of a peaceful, free, just, and sustainable world community. 
Now I would like to introduce my friend and colleague, Bob Flax, who will be our MC for this Zoom conference. Bob joined CGS as our executive director a little over two years ago, after serving on our board of directors for three years. Bob describes his professional life as spanning three careers, first as a psychologist, where he focused on the individual, then as an organization development consultant, where he focused on larger systems, and finally, as an educator and activist, working with the largest system on the planet, global governance. He has been dedicated to addressing human suffering at the individual, organizational, and now the global levels. CGS is lucky to have him as our executive director. Bob, please take it away. Okay. Well, thank you, Donna, for your very kind words and for reminding us of the stakes we all face at this point in history. It's also a bit of synchronicity, actually, that we're beginning this conference on Veterans Day, which was originally known as Armistice Day and marked the end of World War I. They call that the war to end all wars. Hopefully, our work will have something to do with fulfilling that dream of putting an end to war altogether. So I'd like to join Donna in welcoming everyone to our annual conference. For those of you who I haven't met, my name is Bob Flax. I'm the Executive Director of Citizens for Global Solutions, and I'm thrilled you can all join us. And I'm particularly delighted to see so many friends from around the world that I did not expect to show up here. So that, that is terrific. So we're, we're excited about this year's conference because it directly addresses what is perhaps the most asked question among those of us interested in creating a world federation, which is how are we ever going to get there? Well, through the magic of Zoom, we brought together five people from around the world. Glenn Martin from the United States, Shariar Shari from Belgium, Chris Hamer from Australia, Fernando Iglesias from Argentina, and Andreas Bummel from Germany, who have not only thought about that question, but also have been leading initiatives to make World Federation a reality. To fully understand their approaches, we've asked each speaker to address three issues. First, what is the origin of their path, the circumstances and the people who initiated it? Second, how has thinking about their path evolved over the years? And finally, what are their current strategies and how do they promote their work? We hope that that gives you a clear picture of their approaches over these three days. In addition to our five main presenters, we'll hear from three younger people on three different continents who have all assumed leadership positions in the World Federalist Movement. And last but not least, we'll be presenting an update on some of our own activities, our theory of change, which is the roadmap that guides our work, several awards, including our Global Citizen Award to actor, activist, and CGS advisory board member, Mar excuse me, advisory council member, Martin Sheen, who will be joining us on Saturday. And we'll end the conference with the film, The World is My Country, the story of world citizen number one, Gary Davis. Throughout the conference, two members of our staff will be providing technical support. They will introduce themselves because you might need to contact them if you're encountering a problem. So Janet, why don't you start and if you'd wave your hand so people can see you if they're on gallery view. Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Janet Mercer. I am the Marketing and Communications Manager for Citizens for Global Solutions. I'm delighted that I have been able to work with this, this fine group of people for three years already. And I'm thrilled to see so many people attending the conference, it's really wonderful. So if you're having any technical issues at all, you can send us an email or if you're in the chat, you can send us a chat and we'll do our best to help you. Great, thank you. And now the newest member of our team, Juan Carlos. Oh, JC, we don't hear you. I think we've lost JC. Uh-huh. So our let's go ahead. Our yeah. technical team is having technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> he well, was when, having uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, um, we'll we'll introduce him later on. Okay. 
So if, um, if you're experiencing technical issues while you're in the conference, please use the chat window to let us know. If, um, okay, terrific. So I see Juan Carlos is back, I'll get him in in a second. So if you're new to Zoom, all you need to do to get into the chat is to bring your cursor down to the bottom of the screen, and you could do that now to follow along, okay? Several words and icons will appear if they're not already there. One of them is the word chat. So you click on chat, that will open a window, usually on the right side of your screen, but it may be elsewhere, okay? And then at the bottom, type your message where it says, type your message here, okay? Then hit the return key and voila, we will all get the message, okay? So that's what you do if you're in the conference and having a technical problem. But if you can't get into the conference or keep getting bounced out, you can send us an email at outreach at globalsolutions.org. Again, that's outreach at globalsolutions.org. And Janet and Juan Carlos will be monitoring that, th that email, and then they will work with you to get you back in, okay? Since this conference is our most ambitious Zoom event ever, we do ask for your patience in working through un any unanticipated glitches. So now that Juan Carlos is back, I'll invite him to unmute and just say hello, introduce himself, wave your hand so people can see you if they have gallery view on. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Very nice to meet you guys. My name is Juan Carlos, the new operation manager at CGS. I'm excited to join you guys in this event. And we're here to help. If anything, please let us know. Uh, we'll do our best. Hope we all enjoy it. Thank you. OK, thank you. So um, as Donna mentioned, last year was the first time we held our annual conference on Zoom. And we learned a lot about what works and what doesn't, including the strategic use of breakout rooms for small group discussions. So with this time, I'll bring Donna back to share our Zoom guidelines, as well as to set up the first breakout rooms. Donna?